game number 10 of the day flying through the action we welcome Bishop Gore back to pitch RE1 we've already seen them once today managed to get a foothold in the game and only went down by one score in that second seven minutes and already looking a bit better today there's a lovely little dab inside but they're going to come off second best in that sprint race and Whitmore High School attack up the right hand side but they've got through the first line of defense the chase of well they've not quite given up yet Ben Huxtable chases all the way back but misses the tap tackle and Whitmore High School on the counter attack says 15 seconds to go until half time and an equalizer would probably be fair on balance now there's space on the left hand side and there it comes Bishop Gore get their second try of the competition their first try of the match and they level things at five apiece and just reward for good territory taking us through to half time two for seven TV that's what is it underway second half oh what a great start from Bishop Gore here could they take the lead for the first time in the competition yes they do Christian Stone dots down back-to-back -back tries for Bishop Gore keep your eye on him obviously he's a nightmare to tackle by sheer laws of physics but he's got really good hands as well oh it has to go Oh, it had to go there now it's a surely well back-to-back -back scores and Bishop Gore Finally making it stick. Rugby, uh, if you're in the north stand, one, yeah. George Ford, right at the end. It's quite quite the match. Chuckleton was rocking. I think everyone had basically come into town to have a couple of beers and watch the Wales-Ireland game, as we see another score coming in here. This is a good stretch away. Don't think the cover, cover runners are going to get there. Oh, very nice, and Bishop Gort starting to look the part. And they conceded that length of the field. Oh, it's, um, I'm going to watch this at home on my own because I don't want to embarrass myself in public. Oh, well, scrag tackled by the big man there. And what happened after that? Is he going a bit that? too high there? Well, yeah, I thought I'll watch a bit of the England game, then I'll go join my friends um, in the pub. And it was 31-0, and I got on the tube, and it was 38-31 by the time I got off the tube. Wowza. Oh, Bishop Gore thoroughly enjoying their time here now. The right-hand side is their friend. And it's back-to-back -back tries. Christian Stone, the number five, to make it 25 points to 10. Looks at the football and athletics, does Christian, the 12-year-old winger. And he can't give him space like that. Cruz is at the right-hand side. The chase came in, but it was too little, too late. And that is the ball game. Surely now for Bishop Gore. Trinity School versus Tiffin next. Tiffin had a great game against Guffin Guir earlier on. Just couldn't quite make their attacking territory stick. They only scored the one try, and Guffin Guir defended very, very well indeed as the big number eight, Huxtable. You pointed him out earlier as one to watch, Nick, and he strolls in to put this one beyond doubt. 30 points to 10. Right on the full time whistle, and Bishop Gore respond from a hefty defeat with a hefty victory. Full time in match number 10 of the day, Whitmore High School 10, Bishop Gore 30.